Good morning. All right, final day of training, or actually, no, final day of Chicago. Okay, so my flight leaves at 1.30. Right now it is, what time is it? What time is it? It's 8.37. So I'm gonna go to Starbucks. Starbucks is right there. You see that blue car, Starbucks. And then I'm going to go to the airport and just chill until my flight leaves. And oh my gosh, you guys, it is so hot already. I'm sweating. It's humid. And I walk out of the hotel room or the hotel and it's instant sweatiness. I don't know how people live here and have this all the time. I would just die. Um, but you can't really win with the heat. Either it's a, a humid heat or a dry heat. Just heat sucks. I'm not a big fan of it. Um, so I'm going to get something to drink. Oh, somebody right there. <laughs> That's weird. I'm going to get something to drink and then I'm going to head to the airport, wait for my flight. It should leave at 1.30. So far no delays, but it's pretty clear skies here. So hopefully I'll get home on time. I should get home at 4, 4.30, um, if all goes well. And then I'll probably Uber home because Brett's probably still working at that time. So I'm just ready to get home, get in my own bed, take a nap. This was really exhausting. Yesterday we had a lot of training I talked to you about when I got, when I went to go get food. Um, it was really intense with the group, uh, but... We made it through. The guy actually came back afterwards and he apologized for his group being unruly. <laughs> and he said that he had heard from other people that I handled it okay. So I was happy to hear that, that he was happy because that's pretty much what's important. Um, I guess the night before he had sent our leadership team um, an email saying how unhappy he was with the implementation. But um, just something it wasn't really unhappiness it was just a little bit of miscommunication um, but that's pretty much it overall he said he was pretty happy with how things were so that's how it goes anyways headed out thanks for coming along with me on my trip it's been fun documenting and sharing it with you um, and I'll see you in Salt Lake bye